damn. All right. This is the download I was telling y'all about from the car. This may relate with Pluto being in Capricorn and stuff like that as well. So I don't know. The message is like it was basic download. So it may relate, it may not. With the Pluto being in Capricorn, um, no, is it Pluto? No, it's not. Damn. But it still relates. Just go off with it. It may, it may relate to Pluto and Capricorn. I'm just going to be honest because with Pluto and Capricorn, it's kind of on the same damn bullshit. If we were just really being honest, but it was about uh, Neptune and Capricorn. So we're going to say this relates to Pluto and Capricorn. Let's go. It was talking about how the enemy attacks. It was talking about how you could be dealing with individuals or people who are in authority who could be abusing their power to control you. Now, authority don't have to be people. It's people who feel like they are higher than you and they feel like they can tell you what it is that they want you to do. Whoever these people is at the same time, they could not be like they don't have no form of accountability. So they could be feeling shame. This is guilt, shame, remorse. These are all emotions that it is that they could be suppressing at the same time. These are emotions that um, may not want to be acknowledged for some. Some of y'all, this could be things that's coming up from the past, though, as well. Because in order to have a new beginning, you got to have a, a ending. So if this is certain emotions that may be coming up. It's kind of like, boom, tower card reverse. It's about time not to say I'm bad. But it's kind of like, it's about time to assess that, to free yourself from whatever submission that these people have you in. Now, it said, those who limit you. It talks about people who limit you. Whoever these people is at the same time, this transit brings out narcissists. That's exactly what it said. People who like to use their power to control. These are people who, it may not be in a state where you see people that physically abuse you, but these are people that like to play mind games to limit you from being who you actually are. This could show up as people having smothering partners, like the Lifetime movie, where you meet the, uh, what is it? Uh, like the Lifetime movie, is it this? Uh, no, it's right here. It says, uh, like the Lifetime movie, though, as well. It's kind of like, uh, excuse me. Hold on, I got to keep going. Yeah. Nope. Got to flip a page because it went on to something else, though, as well. Uh, all right. Bam. This could show up at the same time, though, as well, like the toxic uh, lover or something like that, though, as well, at this point in time, though, where they're not toxic. It's like the typical lifetime move where you meet the guy, he buys you the nice things, he has money, he takes care of you, but he's damn so not a good lover. It doesn't have to be physically abusive. They could be financially abusive, emotionally abusive, mentally abusive. It's just knock off in any areas at the same time. It said these people like to provide financial support, anything that of help. Like these are people that if they give you help, and this is kind of like, I'm along you, I gave you $40, but I'm going to keep bringing up the fact that I gave you $40. It's to keep you in a state of oppression, to keep you in a state of a limited mind. Well, back in the day, this person did this for you, or this person did this for you, but you can't free yourself from that. These are people that will be resistant towards change. And again, the reason why they're resistant towards change, because this is people that try to control you or they need their narcissistic fix. Boundaries are the biggest thing at this point in time that will cause people particular issues at this same time, though, as well. I should have went on live. It said boundaries at this same time could have been something that needs to be asserted or something like that, though, as well. The best thing that'll help you out if you're dealing with individuals like this, though, as well, is self-assured, uh, making sure that you like loving on yourself. So this going to counseling therapy, you assessing uh, regret, uh, shame, remorse, and all those different types of things. Five cup energy, like going through it instead of working against your emotions. At this same time, learning how to not fixate on certain shit, allowing help to come to you and being sure that you want help so you can actually get the change that it is that you need. For some of y'all, though, as well, this could be coming up in marriages. So this may be problems in marriages, though, as well, because some people may be recognizing that they have married certain partners that are not nice. And this could show up like all around the board. This is certain things that they limit you from. Now, I get it. You hear me say sometimes your partner being mean and you want to break the ice where you see like the little TikToks. Don't take that serious. Where they say, oh, I'm going to squeeze the, tight, the lid tighter so this bitch can say something to me. For some of y'all, this is partners or this is a, something that's been going on in your marriage. Or this may be something that you may be noticing a lot. That you could be dating someone that is cruel, unnecessarily cruel for no reason. And this may break or break the relationship. And you may not like this person when Pluto get his ass out of Capricorn. It might not. And they said these are the type of people, though, as well, that will marry you for stability. If they give you stability, they will leave you the relationship with nothing. They will marry you for stability, and their whole goal is to take away from you, so you won't have nothing. Okay, just keep that in mind. For it said, marrying people this transit at this same time may be highlighting that a lot of people has not married for love. On the flip side, though, as well, 
this could basically show that love is important, but love not going to sustain a relationship. Practicality may, may, may be needed so that you can keep love afloat in a relationship. Real life problems will probably attack the state of the relationships instead of somebody being practical. This is where uh, some people may be coming to a state of realism that I need help. I can't date like that one financial outcome where the man works may not be for you or the woman works. It may not. It's like, baby, it got to be a two way street. I need you to help me. I need you to pay the lights or something. I don't give a fuck about me. I need you to pick. I need you to do something around this bitch to balance it out. Some of y'all going to recognize that tradition may not work for you in the marriage department or also a state of your relationship. For others on the flip side, though, is where you may be recognizing that when it comes to team, you may be having people, their individuality is suppressing you because at the same time, they use you for your strengths, but they're actually weak. So it's like recognizing that, oh, I'm around the wrong people. Like, I can't relax. It's like being around people and you never get to relax. Keep in mind, this goes to your career, your love, your marriage, whatever the fuck it is. You don't get to relax. You don't get to... Uh, you don't get to relax. You don't get to enjoy yourself. You don't get to have these different types of things. This is where you will see your enemies there, and they're going to highlight at the same time. This is Neptune and Capricorn that came across in that download. Well, this on the flip side, though, as well, this is realizing that you, who you are, can, who you are affiliated with, because the people around you can bring you down. And at the same time, though, it said that your enemies, it said, if you don't like, if you, you gotta look at it. If you're a person where you feel like you need people, it's gonna be a long ass video. If you feel like that, um, if you feel like that at some point in time that you need people and you're not affiliated with the wrong people, this is where you easily can partner with your fucking enemies because this is where I'm just being honest. It said like this could be where you could this could be past, present, something that already happened to you. So let me put that there because you know it's always gonna be somebody that always got something to say. Shut the fuck up. At that point in time, though, you could be a person to where what you don't know can be at a point that don't hurt you. So a resource of a resource of a resource to where you may have to do a little fact checking. Do I know you? Do I this? Da, da, da. That word of mouth shit may not be working for you, especially when it's going down to anything that's exchanging with money, finances, relationship. This is where you look good on paper because I'm here and put it on paper. But realistically, are you good enough for this shit at this same time, though, as well? This may be questions you may be asking yourself, but you kind of like the job offering this position. And I kind of want to take it, but damn, that shit seemed like it coming too much. I've been wanting to raise. Do you think I'd be mean if I pass this up? You might be. Like, uh, and again, if you're dealing with somebody in a position of power, this could be the polar opposite to where this person will deny that for you. So keep that in mind. These are people to watch out. People who try to slow down the progress that's going on in your life that'll show up in your business and stuff like that, though, as well. It said, again, it's heavily connected towards your Venus at the same time, though, as well. This is where, if it's a relationship where you would date partners, they would be in struggle of to where we the fucking the Netflix and chilling, but we barely keep in contact. We barely do enough. We barely do this to where. What's the word? Familiarity will breed a state of comfort between you and someone else. And you would think, this is the love of my life. When really you can meet somebody else and the same shit you can do with them. Without that close state of intimacy, you like, this the one. This the one. I'm telling you like, so pay attention to that though as well. For others at this same time though as well, honor the emotions that have you looking for support and also security honor that because if you don't honor that this is where you could be running into people where you could go down the gravy train where everybody's saying they are narcissists they are narcissists they are narcissists you can nip that in the bud i'm telling you it said learning to identify what won't work what will work and what isn't working for you will help you be able to move forward everything that looks good ain't good does that make sense though as well it said, if you are dealing with certain, be mindful of certain jobs that it is that you are taking on too. And also lovers, because some of y'all, if you are artists or you are creatives, or you just got a little bit of mysticism to you or something like that, that was where you may got people around you that may not have your best interest at the same time. They may find you as a threat or even try to challenge you on a lot of things on as well. I'm hearing marketing. For some of y'all, though, as well, um... You may be learning that you need to keep your career and your love life small. So people that you may be affiliated with, it needs to be small. Like, ew, like, does it make sense? Things need to be small. It really does. Like, this is where 
if you say, hey, we're going to have a vacation wedding or we thinking about going to go get married, we're renewing our vows, we're going to go fly down to Vegas, we're going to go to Costa Rica real quick, we're just going to take me and a couple friends, the kids already know what it is, if you want to take the kids, whatever, it's just small, like, does not make sense for your state of protection? This is where, like, everybody don't need to know what the fuck you got going on. Does that make sense though as well? Because some of y'all, you allow too many people into your life, and this is how you got this is where you feel like a lot of shit in your life is threatened. I'm just going to be honest. Where you feel like a lot of shit is losing, it's losing its grips. Some of y'all don't have that form of stability that you used to, but it just showed you areas that you need to work on because, again, tradition is not working for a lot of y'all at this point in time. Let's see. Um, oh, some of y'all are learning boundaries, too, because it said too much excess can ruin you. So it's kind of like too much of a good thing. Like, does it make sense though as well? But too much of a good thing can also have people where they're comfortable to where shit come up missing, shit come up broken and stuff like that though as well. So make sure that you're paying attention to certain shit though as well. And also when you making business deals, contracts, and also some form of connection or friendships, there's an establishing of going on what it is at this same time. What are we receiving for each other? It's kind of like time for somebody to get honest and stop playing with yourself. For others... If you're looking for a job, toxic work environments may do you bad. Does that make sense? Finding a place or working with a team of certain people, they can bring you more harm than you. So the negative Nancy's uh -uh, may not work for you at this same time. Others at this same time, you probably going to have to tell people, bitch, I'm human. Them expectations you setting for me, I can't meet them. Because again, this creates a narrative with a lot of people in your life though as well, especially your jobs, all these different type of things that you have to try harder, that you got to work harder. Nope. I'm finna go. Now, I'm not saying you can't work harder, but it's kind of like, uh-uh, because some of y'all don't recognize this is trauma bonded connections that will refuse to let you go. So this is like, if you set the tone and you do this, these people going to expect that shit again. So somebody has to put some boundaries at this same time, though, as well. If you are dating, this is where some of y'all may have had a rough time. Where you like, oh, I had a great sex with him, but I don't like her. I don't like him. Like, does it make sense? This is where you may be getting exposed to where people, people may be being exposed that you may be looking at somebody like, damn, I really used to like you. Like, you kind of like, you really on some op shit. Okay. Uh, for some of y'all, pay attention to other people who are in a power dynamic that has more than you in an area. They're only attracted to you because of your power. They want to break it. So be mindful of that, like BDSM. Not saying like that, though. It's like a BDSM. I'm a dom. You a dom. So it's kind of like, let's see, can we tango? Like, I'm spy kids, and I want to see who is going to break. So be mindful of that, though, as well. People who hide the truth in you, they know that they can hurt you. Them type of motherfuckers. So liars, backbiters, all the different type of shit, though, as well. Mm-mm. People who are negative, some y'all gonna recognize we all can be negative at some point in time, but just negativity at this same time may not be your type. We 13 minutes, I'm gonna have time set this. Negative places, jobs, career, lovers, baby, we over that. Now, again, somebody else can have a different experience. Again, this is not for you. You know your negative, you know your vibe. Now, others on the flip side, though, as well, it says that um, this particular transit may highlight how people really don't have a type. And it's not a bad thing. I'm not saying that people don't have a type, but it's kind of like, whew, you may be at the point where you may be recognizing, like, I genuinely want acceptance. I want love. I want to feel this. I want to know this. So at the same time, that was where, this is where a lot of people in your life are going to be getting the boot. Honoring your, like, honoring your intuition will genuinely save you from a lot of shit. So if you know, I ain't going over there. I ain't calling this person. I ain't doing it. I ain't doing it. Mm -mm. It's going to help you out at that point in time. First reaction, if it's just there. Now, traditional methods in spirituality that may help you out, it said in order for protection. So, if you know, let's just say, friends, you come from a different type of tribe or a different type of beginning or something like that, though, as well. Whatever it is you do, if that's what you go to, going back old school, how to protect yourself, spirit-wise, that is the case. Or you can take in a bit of the new, but just what you know, like, all right, I know this bitch fucking be up, and I know how to pull this kind of like, boom, 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 boom. Get to it. When it comes down to your return ascenders or how you do your protection, your prayers, whatever it is, get to it. For others on the flip side, though, as well, it said learning your enemies don't run with this because y'all be four dating laws of power. People who are actively your enemies, learning your enemies' weakness can help you take them down. So this is like what you see on the movie to where the little white girl, to where the teacher be a bully and be an asshead and they know they're smart and they give them a hard time and she say the little comment and she correct them. 
Bam! Some of y'all, this that place where it's like, it's going to be out. Like, it ain't got to be lethal, but it's out. For others at the same time, if you are dealing with narcissistic individuals, where some of y'all, y'all dealing with a, a man that keeps trying to chase you, or a woman who keeps trying to take chase you, it's like, play a narc to leave a narc to lead you. But it's also, you have to work on your ego. Because this is somebody that we're like, two can play that game type shit. If you're dealing with narcissistic individuals, it can create a paradigm of paranoia to where you can be like, did I do too much? Am I this? Am I going to be a narcissist? I think that was me. Uh-uh, baby. Roll with the punches. Do some shadow work at this same time, though, as well. Because paranoia will be the thing that takes you out. So you could be a person to where you would be, at, oh, I think I was mean. I shouldn't have did that. Uh, I think I'm going to give this person a chance. I'm going to let them come back. No, 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 no. Liars, backbiters, frenemies, and flattery. That is a MO. That is a strategy. Whoever controls the narrative is the most powerful per person in the room. Me. Um, it said your enemies play this game with you. If you don't like your enemy, it is mutual. So at this point in time, you say, man, I don't like that bitch. And you feeling sorry for some shit? Bitch is mutual. Don't let nobody play you at this in time. They will lie. They will use this. If you doubt yourself, they say dealing with these particular people, they will use it to their advantage if you let them. Bitch, this is like some four day laws of power. And again, this was basically off of reading one house in my chart. And I was like, I can share this with y'all. It says Saturn at this same time may be restricting you and your enemies. So these are people that may want to charge ahead and go real forward with certain shit. But at the same time, it's kind of like motherfuckers being caught up in the real bed. Let me go, let me go. And it's kind of like two particular people that can't come at each other to cause some state of chaos or to cause some state of war or something at this same time, though, as well. Nope. Like, does it make sense? No one want to walk away and no one would to quit may be your best asset at this same time. But if you're dealing with motherfuckers that want to buck up, it's kind of like two people and they say, don't do this, don't do this, go to your corner. And this is the type of person, if you're fighting, they finna come all across the ring to fight your ass. Like, does it make sense why you getting juiced up? This, these type of people, they're being mad at this point in time that their restriction is turning into a form of humiliation. So that's why I said, these people that don't know when to quit. So it's like, you sit back and you watch them, they do the stupid ass shit. So it's like, if you live by four days of four day laws of power properly and not in the state to control people, you probably seen a lot of shit happen. You can predict a lot of shit, whoever this is, for real. I'm not talking about a narcissist, somebody that's like, I read four day laws of power. Damn, I'm seeing they ass do this. I'm finna get the fuck out of the way. Like that's how some of y'all gonna be. For others on the flip side, it said knowing when to knowing when to give up can be your best asset. Protection of things that it is that you love. So again, if this is kind of like if you feeling that urge to fight for your rights or something that you feel is important, mm, some of y'all maybe start seeing a lot of freedom activists and stuff like that though as well as certain people that could be at this point in time where people coming out, like you may be finding certain people, again, this may not be your tribe, but it may push you where it is that you need to go to help you un unlock, now for others on this flip side though as well, that ain't got nothing to do with you, it just said don't let them play you, get to know your birth chart, because if you are dealing with any of these vicious motherfuckers that I've been dealing with, they already know your birth chart before you do, and it said they use these old strategies, it said to make you seem like you are the wayward dog, Knowing when to walk away is not about power. So, you know, how sometimes some people say, oh, my biggest leak back calls. Wait a minute. Ooh. Ow. Oh, my biggest leak back is not talking to this person. Some people that ain't going to work, they ain't going to care. It's like they know it's the energy exchange. So it's like they prepare for it. So this could show up as a lover that might come back. Oh, this bitch stop talking to me. Yeah, I can come back around. Boundaries. Where you see like the lady in a, like using a movie example. I'm going to cut my hair off. I'm going to do this. I start working out. I'm going to go do this. And it's like, damn, you changing up real hard. You're right. Because I don't want to deal with your ass. Like, doesn't make sense. So again, that'll basically help you out at that point in time. Though, as well. I'm like, damn, I could share this. I didn't want to share it. I kind of cliff noted a lot of it though as well because it's 19 minutes long. So again, make sure you be out for that because it's like certain individuals that ain't straight. And some of y'all may not like this though as well because it's easily can turn you into an op. So it's kind of like, say for you dealing with people that show enemies and you dealing with a lot, you could become an enemy to somebody else by your own actions, basically. Does that make sense? So it's kind of like traumatizing other people because you traumatize. The energy is running around in the group chat, though, as well. Hard. If you have not been watching these readings, look, 
We got five of pentacles. We also got the divine guide. And some of y'all could be walking away from a person at this same time, though, as well. Told you humiliation was on the table. If you've been looking for knowledge or advice or wisdom, some of y'all, you could be sick of people who trying to make it seem like you're dumb. Like, this is not saying that, like, you may be the most person that knows it all at this same time, though, as well. But walking away from certain people to where you like, I'm going to reject you at this date and time, though, as well, because I didn't like the way you said that, or I don't feel like there's an interaction that's on the table. It could be at this point in time. Now, for others at this date and time, you may have somebody that's in this hair fonte energy at this date and time that may be trying to get you to reject your calling to God. And if you watched it, it's a Capricorn reading on the... Capricorn Taurus Virgo reading, I think it's on this side or fucking was either side where I say that I need to put a pinch up there on that side though as well. Um, if you watch it on either or, I think it's on either or page, they in group or elements, it was talking about pay attention to the, um, the songs because they're going to give you, um, they're going to give you downloads because when I was in the shower, it was like, I'm going down. It said in Timber, that song like that, that was weird. So this may be somebody that may feel like they was high ranking or something like that, though, was weird. They may be challenging you at this date and time, though, was weird. It could be going down. Like, does that make sense? So just keep that in mind, whoever that is, because somebody may be a little mad at you. Do, 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 do. Mm -hmm. Look, four cups, five of ones. I'm telling you. I knew it. That's why I said somebody going to regret the decision that it is that they did. This could be somebody walking away from a marriage. This could be somebody leaving you all by yourself to deal with certain things because they say you don't need to go through your challenges alone. Help is nearby. Negative thoughts create self-fulfilling prophecies. So again, this may be somebody I told you, like, this is like the epitome of you going through a hard time, five of pentacles and not having the things that it is that you need. And somebody saying, oh, you're negative. You're negative. But they're doing it in a humiliating way. Whoever this is, they want to keep up this drama with you and you decide to walk away they're going to regret this at this same time though as well because whoever this is is acting like they are help mate or help meet to certain individuals they're causing a lot of chaos whoever this is at the same time again this could just be somebody in your life that you married to that is wrong with help i'm just gonna be honest Yes, somebody who stayed with you or who you live with or something like that though as well. They keep up a lot of damn drama, whoever this is at this state and time. And they may want to hear something with you, but I'm hearing say no, whoever this is at this state and time. Because with that four source, it said, let sleeping dogs lie. So whoever this is, it's like this, bring a bone, take a bone type energy. So whoever this is you may be talking to, they may be going to go talk to somebody else that you don't like or you don't know. Like you hear me say, uh-uh, like doesn't make sense though as well. I don't like it. I don't like this energy at this same time, though, as well. This may have been somebody that felt like they could control you. They went to somebody else and exuded their power to get them to do something against you. So it's like, no, 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 no. This could just be black family drama, holidays coming up, and motherfuckers want peace, so they having somebody else to reach out to you so y'all can have a medium so y'all can heal something at this same time. But I'm hearing, I can tell you lying because you crying, stutter, stutter. So, again, this may be a person that just want to trip you up on your words, delay you or something like that, though, as well. For others, y'all, elephant in the room. Some of y'all may want to address the elephant in the room, but with the nine of cups, the eight of swords, like that reading we did last night. I ain't making it public. The reading we did last night at this point in time, we were talking about somebody that was trying to set somebody up. This the real truth you want. This the real truth you want. Some of y'all, you genuinely want peace at this same time. But again, on the opposite side of that reading, like, it's nice. Some of y'all, you wanted answers. And they're reading for those who may not know because I ain't making it public. Let me go back because some bitches weird. What? Like, does that make sense? They be trying to come into a nigga room and shit like that, though. If you email me, I'll send you the link. Does that make sense? Six, will send it out. <laughs> Somebody like, who is it? My son, big six, will send it out. Does that make sense? He'll, he'll email it to you. Just email it and he'll send it to you. But I ain't making that bitch private. I ain't making it public. Doesn't make sense. Thank you. It's private. It's an hour and 20 minutes long. It's long. And it was talking about, I mean, this shit kept coming from every which way. Well, it was talking about some of y'all got family situation y'all want to heal. And the family dynamic, you're going back towards the old. They wouldn't give you the clarity that it is that you need. So it called a dividance. And they thought that y'all, whoever this is, is sitting on the opposite side. I didn't land on Plymouth Rock. They felt like you were toxic. When you, when you really had the conversation, it was them. Like... Yes, you still got this coming out at this same time, though, as well. Now, for some of y'all, some of y'all kids may be struggling when it comes down to a state of communication. And I feel like whoever this is, when it coming down to uh, communication, you may want to hire a speech therapist or something like that, though, as well. Some of y'all may be financially um, uh, um, 
it may be financially costly or some of y'all don't have the time or something like that though as well for others if this like a uh, speech therapy or something that could be needed i don't think it's speech therapy for some of y'all some of y'all kids may have like some form of anxiety I don't know. Somebody has anxiety, but it may show up as somebody needing some type of, what's it called? Somatic release or something like that. That was weird. Maybe a somatic nerve or something like that. That was weird. Somebody got a release. I think that's the right word. Yes. That's why I said. I think it may be that that was weird. You may be like, yeah, hold up. Ooh. I need that to help. Yep, it got something to do with the throat chakra at this state in time, though, as well, though, because whatever somebody says, it doesn't correlate towards the brain. So this is somebody that doesn't say what it is that they need to say in most cases, though, at this point in time. Now, I don't know whoever this is, though, as well, because this could be affecting somebody's sight, mind, or body. So, again, this may be somebody that feels, again, it's like if you got a child or something here for it can be school or whatever it is at this state in time. There's a, a speech delay, a speech problem. They may communicate well, but when it comes down to expressing some form of emotions, they don't know how. Now, for others, I don't know if somebody just got some anxiety or something like that, though, as well. Whoever got anxiety, like, they whole body locked down or some shit like that, though, as well. So, I don't know if somebody experienced some state of trauma or something like that, though, as well. Or for others, if this is somebody that could have been spiritually trying to control you, because some of y'all, you may be trying to figure out how can you get a root moved if you watch the read in a car and this is psychic implants so whoever this is if you've been dealing with somebody that's like psychically implanted something on you this is where like you feel like oh my muscles are not working or my hands are numb or something like that though as well this is that person that comes from trying to hit you pro control you bind you and stuff like that though as well it's that authority that we're talking about somebody that feels like they've been having higher power over you at this state in time Libra, Sagittarius, Capricorn, and Gemini, Pisces. This them that's been doing this on that spell work. Now, the flip side, though, just can't go. You could be the Zodiac signs could be going through this. For others on the flip side, though, as well, you got a little jealousy. I don't like this reading how you keep ricocheting back. Because some of y'all got a lot of drama in your life. I don't know if you're broke because you spent a lot of money on spirituality. Or you could just be spending a whole lot of money on spirituality and you're not getting the things that it is that you need because it's, it's confusing as hell because this energy ricochets like it's like 40 people around. What the fuck? <laughs> Literally, because with the hangman and we also got the king of wands, y'all could be dealing with somebody that's causing a problem in a marriage and somebody wants somebody to let somebody go. This is kind of like, oh, same shit last night. My man, my man, my man. You don't need to talk to him or my woman, my woman, my woman. I got it. I don't need your damn advice. It's something like that, though, as well. Like, I don't know what the fuck is going on. Somebody may be going through a catch-22 because it's like you choose me or you leave them. And whoever this is, this may be somebody. This is going to be typical side, bitch. I've been fucking this nigga. He said he going to leave you. At the same time, he's going to leave you. He's going to be with me. And somebody feel like they stuck between a conundrum that they got to choose. Now, this could be their kids, you, or the side bitch. Somebody feel like they got to choose at this same time, though, as well. And this could be causing somebody a whole lot of stress. But some of y'all, your problems in your marriage, you could be dealing with somebody that argue or your wife that likes to overly communicate when it comes down to certain situations. And some of y'all ready to say, can you please shut the fuck up? Like, some of y'all may want to say that at this same time because she never give you time to think on something, though, as well. It's kind of like, Woo! Like, can I think? Like, some of y'all, you may need breathing room at this same time, though, as well, because Queen of Swords can be therapy. So, some of y'all may be going to therapy. You know how sometimes some people get excited and stuff, because I actually see all the elements. But it's kind of like... Babe. <laughs> it's like one of them. It's just, babe, can we just... Yes. Like, I could just clamp your lips. <laughs> Whoever this is, because you may be dating somebody that's talk until... Oh, real... For others, be mindful of being a martyr and getting in situations though as well. Oh, you go do this, you go do this, you go do this because your spouse do not tell you the truth. They don't tell you the truth. Some of y'all people are not telling you the truth when it comes down to a lot of situations at this same time. This could be a person where they still want to have, I'm, I'm, I'm going to do this. I got to have this last word with this bitch. Whole entire time, it's them. Like That's why I said it's kind of like walk of shame that's going on at this same time because people do not have the full story. 
Some of y'all, this may be people that may be pitting two people against each other. You just heard me say that though as well. So pay attention to that. Like for real, over a man or something like that though as well. Some of y'all, you got to let it go. For others on the flip side, this is you. Uh, my friend said this a fucked up ass bitch and my friend did this. You go get the goddamn full story. Somebody like, oh, you know what? I'm going to leave you alone. Like It's kind of like that type of energy. You didn't have a full story. I'm like, does it make sense? Somebody didn't have a full story on the state of a situation. Look, one paying attention, all the clues was right there in their face. This may be somebody that may be spiritual. All the shit was right there in their face. Somebody kept seeing signs on movies, TV, books, writings, phone conversations, social media. All the synchronicities was right there at this state and time. For real. It was right there. Somebody, they're like, mm, okay, scroll past that. It's like, nigga. Like, it was like, spirit was like, do you hear? Can you hear? Like, can you fucking hear at this state and time? No, ma'am. They too busy trying to exude some state of comfortability or strength that it is that they don't have, though, as well. This could have been somebody that wasn't kind to you or nice to you or something like that, though, as well. For others, you may find out that somebody may have played you at this state and time. I'm just going to put it on the table. So this is somebody that may be pulling the wool over your eyes because it's kind of like safer and somebody like, Oh, this is my friend, you know, like a little kid. Oh, let me show you my mama wine and stuff like that though as well. And they weren't supposed to show this to somebody and end up showing it to them. And they didn't know that they worked with this person to take it from you. I'm telling you, like, it's a lot of stuff going on. Look, because we got Queen of Cups. We also got the moon. But others on the flip side though as well, this could be somebody that's also using monitor spirits. You may have a download that may come across to somebody trying to give you that you could be dealing with a person that's using monitor spirits to spy on you because whoever this is this could be somebody could be somebody who's a monitor spirit so they can spy on you and then two somebody's around this person at this same time when it come down to a form of spirituality and they know that this leo pisces and cancer has been continuously trying to take you down they helped a little bit though as well because they gave them the spell work but they're trying to tell you at this same time they're trying to go their way read that watch that like they're trying to show you that though as well that these people what they did to you at this state and time, though, as well. What they keeping under wraps or how these people sit up and talk about you or divine or do some form of spirituality on you to beat you to the punch. For some of y'all, this could be somebody that's like, this got something to do with your car. Something that they did to your car. Nine of Wands, Seven of Pentacles, the Six of Swords. If you got into a car wreck or any dense nooks, cracks, or something like that though with your car, it was them. They did that at this same time. You may be ready to sue them or something like that though. It was weird. It's like waking up, you got damages, and you kind of like, what the fuck? I ain't got no damages on my car. I'm saying like, yeah. If you had any damages on your car or something like that though as well, you may be dealing with somebody that's like, oh, it's no problem. I can pay cash. I can fix it. Somebody wants to go through an insurance claim fraud. This person, this is not their cop. This is how you're going to find out when it gets down to the law or something like that though as well because this person tried to, they sued them. This person, they took the money from this person. They took the money from this person. This person fixed the car, went down to the insurance at that same time, though, as well, collected the money, the insurance filed against this person. This is where you're going to find out all this particular bullshit that's going on at this same time, though, as well. So I don't know if you're coming from a flight because we got six of swords. Uh, this could be a communication coming out of town, travel or something like that, though, as well. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's something like that, though, going on. For others, this may be somebody that may be hiding the reason why the police came to your house because somebody tried to get you jumped. A Cancer and a Pisces and a Libra, Scorpio, Capricorn, Aries. They tried to get you jumped, and they also lied about it at this same time. So they lied about the reason why they're going to court. These people may be wanting to come into somebody's life at this point in time, though, and they ask for a little piece of change or something like that, though, because somebody ain't got them court fees. They don't. Somebody don't got them court fees, though, as well. They want you to drop this court case or something like that, though, as well, because they all came in numbers up against you. One, for money. One, to do fucked up shits against you. And then two, it's something about that car. It's something about that car. What it is that they did, though, as well, to attack you. I'm just going to be honest. They did some fucked up shit. Not somebody worried about they rent, they bills, they this. But they ain't care about that when they did it the first time. So I'm kind of like, why they care now? 
I'm telling you, these are people that were just focusing on trying to take you down. That's why I said you just gonna have to nip with a lot of conversations in the bud that was weird. That's why I said you may be somebody where you're gonna have to learn and just stop communicating with certain people. You may be in a loving energy and you can be very passionate about the things that it is that you do. This king of cups. So this is like somebody saying, Man, I just got a new job. Da -da -da -da. Or, you know, my husband do this. Like, some of y'all hang around people who real life haters. Like, you just got to accept it. Like, some folks haters, they look at the fact that you love what you do. Some people feel like they can use you, or money always comes to you with easy. So, whatever it is you like to do, some of y'all are operating the energy where people will gladly take advantage of you. And some of y'all starting to catch on to that because it's a little coldness that's coming behind that door as well. And people don't like that. So, people like to take advantage of your genuine nitty. Well, let's just make out something with your partner. Because it don't have to be you. It could be literally the person that you're with. And you like, bitch. And then you got to go be the bully. And some of y'all, you tired of it. Like, I'm tired of being a goddamn bully. Hmm. Look, just kind of got to go scared aside, bitch. Off. I'm telling you. Six of Wands and a Lover's Call. You're like, I'm tired of scaring these bitches off. Because somebody tired of going to go say their partner for others at the same time. You just been hanging with people who, uh... You just been hanging with people like who literally jealous of what you do. And this don't have to be you. This could be your partner. Jim and I had this. And it all sound real. But they were kicking with people to where it ain't got shit to do with them. So if you dating a Gemini or a Sagittarius, they dating somebody just ain't time. I told you sister signs, whichever one. Whatever they got going on with the people around them is affecting you. At this same time, but some of y'all don't know why the hell y'all going through this because somebody owes some money, somebody got a debt or something like that though as well, and they expect them to pay it off. Like, does it make sense? They expect them to pay it off, or somebody expects them to take care of their child, whatever this is. Like, it's a lie. Now, let's see if we get another read. Now, we got the Two of Pentacles, the Death card, and we also got the Sun. Now, for some of y'all, this is prioritizing. I keep saying that though as well. With the Two of Pentacles and the Death, death card, this is some form of change though as well. Some of y'all, it may be, some of y'all, some y'all gonna have to cut your child off, specifically a boy. Y'all gonna have to cut him off. It could be a girl, but it's two boys on this card though as well. It literally is. So you might have to cut them off at this point in time though, because it's time for somebody to grow up, because they may put you in a kill or be killed type situation at this same time though as well. And I'm here. Nan and the boo boo suck your mama titties. So it's kind of like at the same time, though, you're going to have to cut them off because it's like the same damn thing. Now, this could be at this point in time to where somebody feels make it hurt as a parent because if he done went back to that same toxic motherfucker and got this bitch pregnant again, you're going to be like, you know what? I'm through. I ain't saying nothing. Somebody feels going to be hurt because they argue, they're toxic, they do too much, though, as well. This at that point in time, if you could be getting money, like one of your. Uh, they plotted with a spouse to set you up like so it's kind of terrible so some of y'all you maybe when i say set you up i'm talking about take you on about there does it make sense though as well so you're gonna be like you know what i need time i need time to breathe with the three of pentacles and also the ten of swords some of y'all you can't come to a medium or a close on the state of a situation though as well because Somebody don't know how to process this. This is harsh communication. With the Ten of Swords, though, as well, this is like getting over being the victim, but at the same time, though, dealing with the woundedness of the pain that it is that was inflicted upon them. So this is somebody that's trying to understand or comprehend the reasons what it is that you did. But comprehension is all out the window. Does that make sense, though, as well? Because whoever this is with the Ten of Swords, they took it far. This could be somebody at this same time where you could have been... Somebody, it's like somebody could have talked to you, but they invoked too many people to be into the relationship and stuff like that though as well, or dealing with a state of a problem that these people made it worse. Or somebody didn't know that accountability was on the table for them. This is a person that didn't know compromise. This is somebody that didn't comprehend certain things at the same time though, or somebody lacked comprehension skills. I'm not saying they dumb, but when it comes down to other people's feelings, this could be somebody that get mad where they don't think about themselves again. So this is them. For others on the flip side, though, this is somebody where it's time to stop being a victim and take a tone for their actions, and somebody does not want to assess that. This is like self-victimization, just a little bit. It's like, I'm going to punch you and then get mad because I punch you. Like the, It's like, what the fuck? I'm going to shoot you, and then I'm going to get mad because I shot you. Like That's what I said. I'm going to say all this fucked up shit to you, but don't you dare say this shit back to me. Like, some of y'all, y'all dealing with a relationship like that, though, as well, where you like, you know what? I'm about to go home. I'm about to go home. <laughs> Literally, some of y'all like, I'm about to go home. <laughs> Look, Ace of Wands, Two of Wands, like, I'm about to go home by myself. Not tonight. Not tonight. Not tonight. That like, doesn't make sense. With the three of, three of Pentacles and also the Ten of Swords, going back to the Ace of Swords, the Two of Wands, I keep telling you, keep your plans hidden, though, as well. Don't let your right hand know what your left hand doing. 
because you may be expecting certain shit to come. I know this ain't the three of wands, but he got one on his back and he got a stake right there. This is giving me an energy of moving too fast at this state in time, though, as well. Like, trying to get the fuck on, leaving something. You may end up leaving something behind at this state in time that may actually benefit you. The word, if it's actions or certain things that it is that you did, this is having to revisit back. So, again, uh, this is like somebody doesn't get it. Somebody feel like they're wasting their energy and time. But if they just do what it is that they need to do and learn how to compromise and face the goddamn music. Bitch, you won't even be going through these problems. I'm telling you, some of y'all relationship won't be going through these problems at all. You would not. Look, you would not. I'm telling you, somebody does not communicate the things that it is that they do. Somebody always hiding and shit like that though as well. For one of y'all, this could be typically somebody likes to scapegoat and blame one or the other. This is the biggest thing at this state in time. Somebody continues to like to scapegoat, rely, be codependent or something like that though as well. Like they do a lot of shit at this state in time. But others has got something to do with the case. God damn. Like this got something to do with a case or something like that though as well. One of your friends set you up. An ex friend, an ex lover, whoever this is, they set you up for the police to come after you or something like that, though, as well. They did. After somebody who you know. This could have been something like somebody could have been stealing or something like that, though, as well. And it's something like, I'm going to leave the debt with you, but I've been stealing. This is my that's there to go to jail. Mm hmm. And you about to go to jail for this person or something like that, though, as well. If somebody stole a whole lot of money from somebody, they put it on your head. So, say it's like you stole money from this big top king dog. Like, you know, you can't use the real words. King dog at this state in time. I'm going to say you did it. And, bitch, I'm going to come over. I'm going to kill your ass. Like, some of y'all had one of those type of situations. This could be your ex-lover, ex-friend, whoever this is. Cousin, sister, baby, daddy, whoever. This person, they did this. And they blamed it on you at this state in time, though, as well. To where it left you like being a damsel in distress or something like that, though, as well. Again, for others on the flip side, somebody likes to lie about their emotions and whoever this is that has some form of a mental health that could be piss poor shitty. This is a person, if you talk to them crazy, they're going to turn around and do something forward towards you at the same time. So this person is very spiteful. This ain't your friend. You just have to recognize this person is not your friend. I keep telling you that. They're not your friend because, oh, they said this to me. You put me on blast. But they always lying. Seven of swords, eight of swords, nine of swords, they always lying. This is the truth after the fact. So this could be somebody that could be emotionally manipulative. And when they do certain shit, motherfuckers come out to you. They like to withhold certain parts of the story. This is them. Queen of Wands in reverse. I'm saying this is a person that could, that's a smothering entity. This could be a person that could be jealous. That could be superficial and just self-absorbed. They like to play. Bitch, this is a reading right here. I'm telling you, this is it. Girl, thank you. I knew this wasn't going to be long. Some of y'all dealing with uh certain individuals who are self-absorbed. They like to do what actually benefits them at this point in time, though, as well. Like, I'm going to beat you to the punch. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do whatever it is I need to do, and it causes a lot of problems. For others, I'm telling you, you got a case of the side piece. She going to try to beat you to the point to get pregnant by this nigga. Somebody going to do something where it's like, why did I get married? I'm telling you where the wife went. Remember the wife went down to the clinic and the man had an STD and he found out that she had AIDS. It's like that type of shit. One of y'all, but it's going to be in reverse. The wife going to try to beat you to the punch to get pregnant. And this is how you going to know that this bitch been sleeping with somebody else. It's like that type of shit. It's like the side bitch or the wife. They been trying to beat somebody to the punch when it come down to this pregnancy. And one of them cheating. That's how you going to find out. Like, oh, okay. You look like a bitch. I'm saying like all of us going to hit the table at that point in time, though, as well. It is. For others on the flip side, though, as well, if you coming into any engagements or you being celebrated at this point in time in your life, it's going to expose these people who they is. I'm telling you, because a lot of these people, they're not happy for you. I'm telling you, a lot of them, they're not happy for you, though, as well. I ain't talking about somebody hating on your, your finances or something like that, though, as well. But this somebody know how to keep it well put together. They not. I'm telling you, they will. No, 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 no. And you got an old woman that may be sleeping with your child or something like that, though, as well. So your child may be, your child may be in the cougars or some shit like that, though, as well. Male or female, but it's saying your son in the cougars and shit like that, though, as well. You're going to find out he's sleeping with goddamn old women and they paying his bills and shit like that, though, as well. This older woman going to try to trick him and to take something from you. A blast from the past come back again. So that's why I said, yep. So, you, if you don't know who your enemies are, and stop thinking the word enemies is always so bad. 
You just heard me say it is people who exude power over you to control you or benefit themselves. So it's kind of like at that state in time, though, that's the enemy to anything that was well for somebody trying to complete a cycle to be able to move forward, to be able to accomplish anything at this state in time, though, as well. Anybody holding you back in a very vicious manner and they know what they doing and they don't even have to be touching you at this state in time. That is an enemy. That is an enemy. I'm telling you. That is somebody who genuinely do not care for you. They do not respect you. They do not like you. That is an enemy, baby. Like, doesn't make sense. That is an enemy. Y'all be thinking the enemy is the beast that you sit up in the club and you knock of your book. Shot a cool to say she's got anger issues or you was drunk that day or you were fucked up. Your enemy is who that motherfucker who persistent day in and day out. Well, they got a gaslight, lie, manipulate, do certain shit to benefit them. That is your enemy. And some of y'all, you just not find this out, though, as well. That this lady would do anything with her social butterfly ass to beat you out to the punch. And she gonna play the victim. Does that make sense though as well? She gonna play the victim. Some of y'all, you deliver somebody that's gonna put your address online so you can't be attacked. That's how vile this person is at this same time though as well. When it's like she gonna put your address on the map, you gonna put her address on the map. This is like the type part, I'm gonna put your address on the map. I'm gonna let more folks come in your house and I'm gonna let them beat your ass. But then you put her address on the map. And this bitch happened to her. She going to document me. Oh, these people did this to me. Bitch, I sat up there and I took my shit. Why you can't take your shit? I'm saying it's a tip for tat. Whoever's here, y'all do not get along. Just accept that shit. Like, y'all do not. Like, I don't know who keep trying to make y'all get along, but please fucking stop. Look, I'm telling you, somebody got y'all working on the same damn thing over and over and over again, and you ain't getting no motherfucking resolve. Somebody going back to the same shit over and over and over again. It's just not working. Like, I'm saying, it's not working. You and this person, y'all don't have no fucking resolve. Look, we also got seven of cups and nine of cups and six of cups. Be mindful of buttering up certain shit. Like, this somebody that still want to come in at this point in time and offer you something at this point in time. Somebody going to play you with them crocodile tears or act like they so heartbroken by something. This could be a job that wants you to come back at this same time. And they going to offer you certain amenities at this point in time. But it's still like the drama there. The beef still there. It's kind of like, bitch, I'm not going back to that goddamn place where I feel the ruin you so let me go ahead and play with you on your face girl bye let me pull one more card let me give y'all a card so we can read it girl bye this somebody that's playing all in your face girl good night somebody playing with y'all thought this read was gonna be long as hell there's somebody playing with you i hate how we ended oh my god i didn't try to betray girl your lying ass, you did all this shit. Look, Ace of Swords, Tower Card, and the Queen of Swords, you remember, you and this person, y'all ain't gonna ever address the real elephant in the room. Remember that this person is not gonna change. If you have turned into the Queen of Swords towards this person where you're very cold and cutthroat, and I ain't talking about the callous and matter, where you just all practical, no, uh, uh, what do you say, all, uh, no chaser, all facts, all straight, no chaser. Somebody don't like this with you because whoever this is at this state in time, though, this is like telling a person exactly who he is. I'm telling you who they are. Like, if you're dealing with somebody that's lazy, that don't like to do work, and they half assing at this same time, though, as well, it's like they just don't cut it. Like, it's kind of like letting somebody know, like, I've been letting you slide too much around her. You come in the late work, you do this, you do the bare minimum, you don't do your job. Babe, you got to go. You got to go. Like, some of y'all, this is it. Like, this is like the real reality. This is where now you see somebody that's like, it's, I don't know if y'all work with family or family working with family or something like that as well. Y'all don't have one of y'all family members and whoever this is, they half ass do their motherfucking job. And it's causing a whole lot of, it's causing a whole lot of problems in a family dynamic, dynamic though as well at this same time because this person is, um, they're not pulling their weight and other people are affected by the actions of this person and stuff like that though as well. Now on the flip side, it was not a work dynamic though as well. It's just something going on with your kids. You may find out one of your kids dropped out of motherfucking college and you may be mad in a motherfucker because some of y'all just somebody always come to you and say, I want to, I, I think I'm going to go do this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. Like girl, y'all got, um, I can't think of that nigga name from House of Pain. Y'all got this shit going on. Calvin, doesn't make sense. Well, Calvin kept going to school, but whoever this is, they always got you spending money on big shit. And some of y'all, you tired of it. Like, you literally tired of it. It's like, baby, you grown. I'm going to let you figure this out. And bam. For others, this could just be a defined kid that may just got kicked out of school again or something like that, though, as well. Because it's like, if they got kicked out of school, then another school, like the grades dropping and shit like that, though, as well. They don't like the environment or something like that, though, as well. So that's kind of their new school, new shoes. And they don't know who they're going to fit in with or something like that, though, as well. Could be 
Does it make sense? Some of y'all, it's a little fame going on, a little popular area, and a little notoriety or something like that, though, as well. And somebody could be, I'm a little nervous. At the same time, though, as well. So they could be a little nervous or something. Some of y'all, this could be somebody that, it could be sexuality differences. Like somebody could be going through uh, puberty or something like that, though, as well. Somebody could be going through the chain. Some of y'all little girls and little boys may be coming into puberty or something like that, though, as well. Some of y'all, y'all kids starting to take hormones and stuff like that, though, as well. So if you know your child has been going to a school and they knew they was operating in their energy and they didn't tell people that they was transitioning <sighs> you may have to change them though as well does that make sense though as well uh you might you might like you're gonna have to change that school asap like not because of that though as well like could be bullying it's a little bit of bullying though at this state time though but it's more it's the people that they surrounded by. I'm just going to keep it a bean. Like, I'm sorry. It's the people that they surrounded by a little bit. Like, because it's somebody that still look like they want to fight and shit. Like, they got to go. Mm -mm. Like, doesn't make sense. So, they got to go. This somebody that got to be in a new fucking environment. Like, this ain't going to actually benefit them, though, as well. They have to. This is kind of like going from, we was cool, you ain't one of us. Also, let me try to exercise you and create that. So, it's time for somebody to go because... Whoever this is used to kick it with these people and stuff like that, though, was weird. They coming on it. Because, oh, you changing. Oh, you this. I thought you was this or something. Like, damn. Like, this environment is no longer suiting for your child or a person or you or wherever it is that you live. Like, it's, they don't like it. These people don't like this new you. They don't like it. They don't like it. And it's something you've been contemplating on. Where I'm going to go, what I'm going to do. If you feel insecure, you go low. This is the people that you hang around when you're going through tough times over the year. And if you go through tough times, it's kind of, you know what? I need to go do this. I'm supposed to do this. I'm supposed to do this. I'm supposed to do like all the things that you like. <sighs> Girl, we don't want to hear this shit. Like, this, like people who you hanging around. It's kind of like, you know what? Um, I'm about to go back to who I'm going to be. Right. Does that make sense? So it's like, somehow you have to recognize this. So let's see why it takes this 40 hours to fucking upload. Use them. That's them. Stop. You two have been really good. They've been on their peas and pananical curves at this same time. Because I got to give credit when credit is due. So, stop. They've been doing the damn thing. Shout out to you, YouTube. Wink, wink. All right, look at your card. Does it make sense? Karina Karina is not bad. I think I need to repress my hair. She went out the window. I don't know what happened. She's here. I don't know where them plants went. I probably got to replace it. I don't want to go through that again. I'm traumatized on wearing my real hair. Uh -uh. All right. This is a little lean in there. Hold up, baby. Karina, Karina been grown, huh? <laughs> Fuck you, somebody. Well, I just took it. And it's full all the way down. I said that, damn. I look at my hair. I said, damn, my whole hair grew back like that. That was well. Shit. The fuck I been eating? Play. All right, let's go. Is he gonna give us a card? Can we get a card, baby? Oh, soul family, past life healing, and no more hiding. That's why I said, if you have any type of disruptions that it is that you have an experience in your life with the people around you, it is about time that you actually stand up and speak up for yourself at this same time, because you may have went into a place at this point in time to where you have not communicated when it comes down to a state of your needs or something like that. Though as well. You may be dealing with people. If you're a very sensitive person, they may like to use the past against you or something like that, though, as well. So this may be a part of you that you may have to heal. This may be at the point where you, with all this blue, baby, you're going to have to be confident in telling your own story and stop letting other people tell the story for you. So this got something to do with your root chakra. This got something to do with confidence. This got something with the ability and being able to stand into you. This is kind of like those people that... Uh, our motivational speakers and stuff like that though was weird that when they go into the room and they stand up and they talk about how life changed them or god changed them all those different types of things like this is standing on this is owning it knowing that you ain't finna catch me lacking not because you ain't finna catch me lacking because of social media but i'm really this this is one of y'all know was weird like i'm ready to assist i'm ready to assess a lot of things at the same time like it really is all right Girl, where this thing at? Let's see if we're going to get our reading voice because Jesus, them hoes going to tell me. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> Damn, that's witchcraft. My bad. I just seen it. It said a magical time of reconnecting with your soul family has arrived. When you incarnated into this lifetime, your soul plan your soul plan to reunite with its ancient lineage, kindred spirits that you knew in previous lifetimes, both on earth and in the cosmos. You don't have to know how this will happen. It is written in the stars that you will be brought together. When you meet members of your soul family, it is an instant and intuitive recognition of mutual understanding and emotional safety. You won't need to analyze why you feel so seen and supported by them it could be unspoken unknowing that it could be unspoken and unknowing unspoken knowing that brings relief from a previous solitary soul guided path your soul family always wants you to shine brightly they won't be threatened by your expansion or your success on the contrary some of them will go out of their way to help you to retreat achieve your spiritual mission this may be a time of reinitiations re into the moon temples where you discover sacred teachings engage in magic rituals and connect with your lunar cycles you share an important soul connection with this person. Let Hathar guide you, guide the relationship. Receive motherly love from a parent, friend, or a group who can look after you. Join a dancing, singing, or musical class. Root chakra, I am not alone. My soul family, my soul family are arriving to lift me up. Bam, I told you that. Period. So some of y'all may be coming out of period. That's why I said it's illuminating all of this. So those feels that you don't want to feel. Where I said in the beginning, this may be in the past. You may be recognizing like I went through a lot. <laughs> and but again, you going through a lot. Like what I want to say is kind of like you could be went through a lot though as well, but you don't need to get re-traumatized again. Like that's why the reader started off that way in the beginning, where we got negative Nancy over there in the corner. His ass. At the same time, though, at this point, like, it's you not re-traumatizing yourself and going through the same shit. Like a sis and a motherfucker got me this way. I ain't gonna let you give me way. Let me let you give me this way, causing a state of paranoia. A pair of, a pair of, girl, paranoia. So it's kind of like, how can I stay consistent with this and also assess how it is, how motherfuckers coming at me without being militant hiding who I am, and actually working to be my authentic self. So this going to be where you're going to be crying. Somebody say, damn, what your head crying for? Uh, oh, you talking about that again? Are you doing this again until you get to that space where you can save up to get that apartment, save up to get this dope as well? You may have to deal with the ruffling of a feather because everybody don't have it like that at this same time. For others who do have it, leave at the same time though for real so it's like at that point in time you can keep complaining keep complaining keep complaining keep complaining at some point in time until you actually do something about the state of a situation so it's like just be realistic take your time i do i want to do this yes or no and if you don't want to do nothing about it just know motherfuckers ain't gonna want to hear complain about it and there's people out here that will gladly let you complain about it them mega narcissists that want to control you goodbye